Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimazeski with Adam Atkinson. We're still in our series talking about kooky health conditions, alternative medicine, quackery, and all that good stuff. And after talking about metabolism and weight loss, let's shift gears, Adam, over to immune system and specifically autoimmune. I, I definitely have had clients say, oh, I went to this practitioner. I, again, have to always use quotes when we're talking about this in this series. And, uh, you know, they said this, I have this this autoimmune condition or something is wrong with my immunity. Is that something you hear a lot over there? I, I do hear that a lot, but there's really no science to back what a lot of those things are. And, and when you look these things up, I love going to Quackwatch. It's one of my favorite websites. And I'll usually link my clients in on that. And they're yeah. like, oh my God, thank goodness, because I was about to spend this much money, um, a lot of my clients are reluctant to follow through on that. Um, and often what happens, I say, go to a doctor. And unfortunately, they do think these um, practitioners are doctors. So it's not that they're not listening to me. They just believe that they have the cure and uh, someone recommended them to them. Um, but yeah, Quackwatch can be a great resource because uh, with talking about this topic, there's a huge broad range in names of autoimmune issues out there that don't exist. Yeah, and I think it's a good idea to even describe what that is. So your immune system is there to protect you, right? You, you get a cut and you have white blood cells that go fight potential infections, bacteria, things like that, clean it up. You know, you go through all the different types of white blood cell counts or, or, or white blood cells and what they're there for. And, um, you know, great little, great little Wikipedia trip for you if you look that up. But uh, what happens in terms of some of the things that we eat, we can actually have an immune reaction. And that's not necessarily autoimmune, it's just an allergy. So if I consume foods that I don't digest well or I have an actual allergy to, I'll get a response. I may get congested, I may be a little puffy, I may actually retain a little water and so my weight doesn't go down the next day. But those are things that you should hopefully be kind of weeding out of your diet anyway because you notice those responses. But when somebody says you have an autoimmune condition, that means your own body is attacking you in terms of kind of a normal health process. And so you think of things like rheumatoid arthritis, and those are things that you definitely need medical attention if you have them. But as you said, Adam, there, there's a myriad of potential conditions. Um, you know, I actually had one, I won't go through the whole story, but uh, a year and a half or so ago, uh, I was literally in respiratory arrest, almost cardiac arrest, passed out three times in one night, almost died, and I had no idea what was going on, um, and it ended up being an autoimmune reaction to something happening in my body, orthopedically, actually. Um, so, you know, try going to an alternative health, uh, alternative health practitioner with that, like this person is literally potentially dying. Um, that's not who you want to go to. You want to go to the hospital, you want to go to a medical doctor, you want to seek actual um, educated um, practice opinion. So anyway, um, I, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a little bit at a loss as to how these things get, get pushed onto clients. And, and I definitely hear it in a more general sense, and I, and I love your opinion, when somebody says, oh, my naturopath or my so-and-so said I have this autoimmune condition and therefore blank, uh, what are you usually told? Are they trying to, again, sell supplements? Are they trying to push a certain type of diet on them? Yeah, like I, I've heard a lot. I've heard like try this Mediterranean diet or try, you know, um, this supplement. And uh, a lot of times I'll just ask my clients, are your lymph nodes even swollen? Because if, if your body's trying to fight something, <laughs> you're going to have that reaction. And a lot of times they're not. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just complete BS. <laughs> and, and even the evidence, like you just said, what about white blood cell count? If this so-called practitioner is doing their job, you would get blood test confirmation at the very least. That's the entry point. And then maybe other tests uh, could be all kinds that you need. Uh, but I, I would say to your point, a lot of them are simply a, a, in terms of just trying to make somebody healthier, getting through food allergies and potential reactions. And so they could recommend a certain type of diet. 
allergic reactions, normal systemic inflammation reduces a little bit, the person feels better, and again, <clears throat> all praise be to the alternative practitioner because they just cured me when it was just simply reducing something as simple as a food allergy. Right. So, all right, guys, we got a couple more to go through. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about some autoimmune things, and then we're going to get into gut health. So stick around, and we'll see you next time in Contest Prep University.